Hi, Yarn and Bees. How are you today? Today, I'm going to talk to you about this. I've been getting a lot of comments on it, so I figured, okay, it's time. I, I have to talk about this. Okay, so this started out as what I, I wanted it to be, like a poncho. But... um. It didn't quite work out that way because I didn't quite have enough yarn. So I, it is what it is. It's kind of like a oversized sweater <laughs> with a, with a, um, a collar. Um, it's, I made it with, sorry, I'm scribbling on this. Uh, Karen anniversary cakes. Yay. Now these come out once a year, hopefully. It's been two years that these have come out, so hopefully it'll come out again this year. Um, I got this from my daughter. I got another one too, but it's kind of buried underneath some stuff here. I feel like I'm like way up here. Hang on. Yeah, that's a little better. <laughs> I felt like I was like, like way the camera was like way way up so anyway um so yeah my daughter got these for me for christmas thank you tia not that she watches my videos but <laughs> um so these are huge huge cakes actually you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna unbury because Maybe there's some people out there that haven't seen these before. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay, so these are the anniversary cakes. Okay. Um, they actually, they put this nifty band around it now. And I'll tell you, the cakes that I use, there you go. Ew, excuse me, that has been fighting to come out and I just had to let it out. So, <laughs> um, in the past, they didn't have this band around it. And I'll tell you, when you start working with this and the middle starts to collapse a little bit, the cake just goes and long ways. And it's like, it's not controllable, right? Like it's... There's too much yarn to control. This is the first time I've used a cake with this band. And it's also, it's not just a band that holds it together. But this is also the center pull. So it's got a little thing here holding the center pull. This band was a game changer. It really was. It held the band together quite well until the very end and then it was like you had to take the band off in order to get to the rest of the yarn and then it did the whole elongated thing but that's okay i worked with it it worked out well okay um the color that i used i'll tell oh i'll tell you what color this is this is called sour cherry and i'm going to be using that one probably next Oh, come on, get back in the bag. All right. This one, uh, I had maybe a yard and a half, meter and a half left. Um, so, I mean, I, I used it a, a lot, like most of it. Uh, this, this color is called Sandy Shores. It's a super bulky six. Oh, I think I used, what, what hook did I use? A 15? I'll put it here because I can't remember. It, it says you're supposed to use a, um, an eight. No. <laughs> I'm 
Not unless you want the stitches really, really tight. Uh, so anyway, I used a big, big hook. And it, it's so fluffy and squishy. And I just, I just love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, it's a little shorter than I would like, but it covers all the lumps and bumps and it's all good. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so yeah, I, there's the back is just straight double crochet, but all of this is lattice. And then I did, um, uh, double crochet in the back loop on the arms. That's how big the arm is from here to here. That it's like, <laughs> it took no time at all to do the arms because the sweater hangs down <clears throat> to about here. So yeah, but it's so comfortable. I just love it. Anyway, um, I'm thinking about doing a tutorial on this. If you guys are interested, let me know down below. Uh, I don't think I have any super bulky sticks. Oh, but I do have, oh, I, most people don't, I don't think have super bulky six in their stash. So I'd like to make the tutorial something that everybody can use. Um, Hmm. I'm not, I'll, I'll figure it out. Um, I can, I, well, I can do this in a four weight or a five weight. Uh, but I think it's nice to have it in a big squishy. Oh, the color fusion chunky. I don't think I have enough of that though to make this. But anyways, I'll, I'll figure it out and I'll let you know ahead of time what you're going to need for the tutorial and which should be coming up quite soon because I'm thinking um, I might do it for, let me know if you want me to do it in the anniversary cake. Okay. Cause I don't know, maybe, maybe everybody's got one. Because it only took one, right? And if you're a small person, then you're not going to use up near as much yarn. Because I do the measurements by measurements, not by this is how many stitches you need. Okay. Uh, although this does take a certain um, sequence of stitches. So, but it's super easy, you guys. Super, super easy. Even a beginner can do this. Okay. So let me know if you want the tutorial in the anniversary cake, or if you want me to do it in like a, a five weight, like a bulky five weight or something like that. Okay. So yeah. So there you have it. Isn't it pretty? I just love it. I think I'm going to make the, uh, another one like this in this. So yeah, just, you know, so that I have it on hand to sell at the craft fair next year. This this year. God, I can't believe it's already 2022. Okay, for this year's Christmas. Oh. Anyway. Okay, guys. So that's all I wanted to show you. Um, but leave in the com leave it in the comments to tell me what you guys think. Okay, and I will talk to you later. <laughs> okay. Bye.